It's been a wild ride with my Camax KMX 250 MT for the past two years. New experiences, a lot of fun and visits to the hospital. Even my first two ever enduro races. Stick around till the end as I spill the dirt on whether this Chinese dirt bike is worth the buy or a pass. Today we're diving into my two year journey with uh, my Camax KMX 250MT. Purchased straight from uh, China via Alibaba and the link to the manufacturer is in the video description below if you're curious. Now if you've been following my adventures, you know I dusted off my riding gear after the 35 year short break. Leaping into trails, enduro, hard enduro, motocross and even supercross. I put this bike through paces in all kinds of conditions, from extreme heat at sea level to muddy elevation races. I even participated in two enduro races. Not as much riding as I wished to, but 55 hours so far. So is this Camax KMX 250MT a reliable companion? Let's find out! Along the journey I've tweaked a few things to tailor this dirt beast to my liking. From ditching the enduro gear to swapping out the carburetor with a Smart Carb SC2. You can catch the Smart Carb mod details in the dedicated videos on this channel. Accessories? Oh yeah, I've got them. Hour meter, short vent tube, bar pad, full wrap hand guards, front and rear disc protectors, twin air air filters, front rescue strap and two finger clutch lever. You name it and I got it. Routine maintenance has been the name of the game. Regular oil changes every 10 to 15 hours. Spark plugs and fuel filters every 25 hours. Exhaust packing after 40. New chain after 32. Greasing the linkage system twice, front sprocket brake fluids and a new throttle handle and grips after 50 hours. And at last, fork pushings, seals, fork oil after 55 hours. You'll find dedicated videos covering a lot of the maintenance on the channel. I switch up those tires for varying conditions, opting for a mousse in the rear and heavy duty tube in the front. Those stock CST tires the bikes come with are great but for the tracks I'm saving them for another day. Now let's talk about the good stuff about this bike. First up the price. I got this bike for $2,804 plus shipping and import fees. That was a 10% discount when I bought the bike. Quality wise no major hiccups at all for me. Performance more than enough for my skills and my needs so I like that. Plus a shout out to the manufacturer for being a supportive throughout my time with the bike. But of course, it's not all sunshine and wheelies. Yeah, there's a lot of sunshine here, but not so much wheelies. What could use improvement? Well, no user manual. That is the biggest hassle I've got. But I've used manuals from KTM and GPX as a reference on that it works okay. Some rubber parts have seen better days, likely thanks to Thailand's harsh weather. The air filters, I bought one extra, so I had two and both gave up. And the rear brake lever, way too low to be easily reached especially when you're standing that's been a little bit of a trouble but i have uh, raced it so now it works well so who's this bike for if you're a vet rider like me or a weekend warrior not ready to break the bank on a ten thousand dollar ride the kamax kmx 250 mt might just be your ticket in Spare parts and accessories are available and you can find my dedicated videos and spare part list in the video description below. If you're curious about how it ships, check out the unboxing video on the screen here. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, ride safe and keep that dirt flying! Thanks for tuning in. If you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, keep the rubber side down.